A Greenville County golf course could be closing and what could come in its place has some neighbors and golfers worried. Carlos Flores stopped by the course and has more on this story. I've been told there's nothing better than a nice round of 18 holes of golf, and that's what other golfers here at Legacy Pines tell me too. But now the future of all of this land is now in question. Kind of bittersweet that a development's going here, it's cool, more homes, but uh, one less golf course in the area. 245 acres in Greenville County could have a new future. The owner of the golf course posted this statement to Facebook saying the golf course is under contract for purchase from a multifamily home developer. This leaves golfers wondering where they can go next. Which is going to cause overcrowding on the other golf courses in the area and more development. I understand there's money involved, but people need some recreation area as well. With Legacy Pines' future up in the air, that leaves only three other golf courses on that side of I-85. For the value that you get uh, for going to play at a golf course like that, it's either you have to go to a private course in this area or you're going to pay, you know, a, pr a pretty penny to, to, to play around a golf in a public course that's like this one. Winston says he's from Chicago and moved into a neighborhood nearby. He says they moved to Greenville to get away from the big city and have liked the growth they have been seeing. But it has to be smart growth. I don't like when it's taking away, um, you know, nice wholesome activities. I was going to teach, you know, teach my girls how to play golf on this golf course back here, right? So, so for that to go away, it, it does take away that, that element of it. Having one less course, maybe one less person that's going to inspire to be the next golfer. For now, golfers and neighbors will have to wait to see if Legacy Pines can land in the green instead of the rough. In Greenville County, Carlos Flores, WYFF News 4.